Hi, this is Rick Eimer, sports editor with the Palo Alto Weekly, and we're here with Kirby Knapp, the setter for the almost state champion, we hope to be state champion, Menlo Atherton uh, girls volleyball team. They're going to their second consecutive state uh, final, which is pretty incredible, first time in, in this school's history, so that, uh, that's pretty awesome. And just talk about the journey a little bit about getting here for the second time. Yeah, it's been a blast um, this season. We got a lot of new people this year and lost almost half the team. So we didn't know how far we were going to go, but we really wanted to go back to state and hopefully win this year. So it's been really fun seeing how far we can go. Yeah, and I know that your seniors have really done an outstanding job, uh, not just you and, and Jacqueline, but some of the other ones. Can you kind of go around and talk about them a little bit? Mm -hmm. So we have Eliza Grover on the right side, who's like a key hitter also besides Jacqueline. Um, Kiana Salas has played back row. She's hit outside. She can do everything too. Um, Casey is another setter, so we'll do six twos sometimes with both of us setting. And Chloe's been our libero at the beginning of the season. So, yeah. Yeah, no, as a setter, you kind of run the offense. I mean, how do you decide who's going to get the ball and, and how quick is that decision made? Um, it's made pretty late, like after I get the pass, depending on where the pass is, depending on who's been hot that game, where the block is on the other side. So yeah, it varies um, by game. Definitely Jacqueline and Eliza are pretty consistent. I can find them almost any time. Hmm. Yeah. So and after working with them a couple of years, I'm sure just know, knowing where they're going to be in, in good communication also? Yeah, I've been really lucky um, to have Jacqueline and Eliza on my club team also last year. Um, so Jacqueline and I are pretty comfortable back row together. I know where she's going to be on defense. I know she will like dig the balls um, hitting wise. I know I can just throw it forwards or backwards and one of the two will be there to hit it. Ah. What, uh, you know, I know when you play club team, you, you play an awful lot of matches, probably more than you do in high school. I mean, what does that, you know, for, do for you when it comes to high school? Um, well, high school we practice every day, so it is still a lot of volleyball. But yeah, um, club will be like tournaments once or twice a month where we play a lot of games. So it's a lot of like packing in all the reps at one time. High school's kind of nice. Can, you can like spread it out twice a week. So you're playing like two times a week, so you're constantly like getting better and improving. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you could look at yourself one year ago today, getting ready for the state championship game, how much more confident do you feel right this year than you did last year? Hmm. I would say a lot more confident. Um, last year it was our first time going to state and we had no idea what to expect. Um, this year there's an open division, so hopefully some of the top teams are higher so we don't have to f um, face them in state but I think Edison's going to be really good too mm -hmm. but as a senior I'm just a lot more confident all around. Yeah I, I would think so after one visit I mean sometimes you can get overwhelmed just by the environment itself and yeah. you've been there now and and mm -hmm. you know you know what's going to be going on mm -hmm. outside of volleyball. Mm -hmm. Yeah it's just a you have to think it's a still a normal game um, no matter if it's in LA or here it's mm -hmm. still, still volleyball. And there was one other question, but I can't remember what it is now. But so, this is Kirby Knapp. She's our Girls Athlete of the Week, and congratulations. Thank you.